primary election last month in New York City was anything but smooth. And today, a state assembly hearing was held to unpack what worked and what didn't when it comes to ranked choice voting. CBS 2's Kevin Rincon has more now from downtown Brooklyn. The long wait for election results and the confusion over ranked choice voting took center stage here at the New York City College of Technology. This is the ranked choice voting postcard that the city spent its two million dollars on. This was the education that happened. That criticism is something we heard over and over again at this state assembly hearing. Civil rights attorney Esmeralda Simmons says when you look at places where ranked choices worked, they did a lot to get people ready. And they had a very long educational period. They did things in schools. They did things with, with you know, parent-teacher night. Six months, nine months education, not two months. On WNYC, Democratic mayoral candidate Eric Adams says he has supported ranked choice, still does, but the rollout wasn't great. There was no urgency to get this done, and I believe that was a big mistake. He says it also helped fuel a divide in the city. Your New York Times readers, uh, your Wall Street Journal readers, and all of those uh, that high have the ability to analyze all of this information. Uh, it's fine for them, but that's not the reality when English is a second language. That's not the reality for uh, 85, 90-year-old voters. But community groups here at this hearing say New Yorkers knew enough about ranked choice. And I know there's been criticism by some that there was not enough education, that this happened too quickly. Not true at all. They point to an exit poll that found 95% of voters thought the ballot was simple to complete. 83% voted for at least two candidates, with another 77% saying they would want future elections to feature ranked choice. The problem with June's primary election was not ranked choice voting. It was the incompetency of the Board of Elections. Meanwhile, the State Senate Elections Committee plans to hold a separate hearing next week. That one focused entirely on the Board of Elections. In downtown Brooklyn, Kevin Rincon, CBS 2 News.